So we did this, this, and this. So it is something o'clock and we're here at Junis. Uh, we've been here for a little while and uh, Juni prepared some ORS for us oral rehydration salt with some other supplements and we oh, sorry we are going to put the bikes into the car a oh, big van uh, just like last time so the bike stand bike so we have the bike here it's prepared for race and it, this is my number number 33 so I prepared for one month for this and I don't know what's gonna happen let's get to the venue
So we just finished lunch and we finished the race too. And we lost the food. Yes, we lost many times now. Super late. Hello. Hui, hui, you lost a video, boy. I'm ready to jump. I'm ready to go. Um. Yeah, I think we're not going to join the raffle anymore. I think we're going home. So, home it is. So, we're back to uh, Juni's house. It's been a long ride. And we're gonna go home a little bit later because we had to rest here for a bit. And I don't know what I'm gonna do next or what we're gonna do next. So, I wish there's something we can do next. So. Uh, and if anyone watched this video make sure to like comment share subscribe turn on those notifications so you don't miss a video I'm actually playing a game here and it's afternoon now I don't know what time it's 12.06 p.m. and I'm still tired from the race we also had free lunch from happy days they were the sponsor of the race and it's kind of fun but it's also tiring too so um i'm just gonna show you later or what's going to happen later so see you hey guys it's a it's already March 14 it's been two days since the race and we're still recovering we worked out uh, yesterday so my arms are kind of sore from workout exercise that the uh, our coach gave us but I was thankful that I endured the race but I talked to some other racers from other categories about the climb that I will show you here in the screen right now and uh, we just talked about anything about the race while pushing our bikes so it's kind of fun it's kind of scary also you don't know when you don't know anything if if you don't know how to do track read sorry i've got to change the topic here if you don't do the track read um there's a chance you will not expect anything maybe there will be clients maybe there will be some straights where you can recover that's why every race you have to do track read so you know what's coming uh, in the race so you know when to exert you know when to save energy and when to do pacing on climb straights and other stuff like that so yeah and back to the other topic and uh, the main challenge over there is for me i think the climb itself uh the last part of the climb before the finish line i think that was the hardest part because i had to push up my bike for almost the whole climb and at least i i made some friends temporary 
friends from the race. I talk to some other categories like fun rider, the fun ride category, and the 49 and up category. And I talked about them about the, uh, I talked about them in the track, and they asked me if I knew the track. So since I knew, I had to tell them uh, what's coming and when they can go sprint again. So yeah, we talked about a lot, and that's pretty much it. So I had to uh, have to end the video right here, uh, March 14th, yeah, two days. Um, thank you guys for watching my video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, that's the main part, uh, that's the main, main, main what, main something, it's, it's the main something on my channel to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And I will post some other race videos soon. Uh, I wish I would. And there's still a whole year ahead of us. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!